boomage yeah we're here we're we survived the first night but before what's up everybody right hopefully y'all are just frozen tundra as well yeah I'll tell you what it's it's crazy it's crazy but we ain't gonna be doing the yurt forecast outside uh-uh not today no. <laughs> matter of fact let's just jump into it hey hey everybody this is Corey davis with the yurt nation yurt forecast meteorologist coming at you <laughs> it's currently sunshine the sun is out no more snow clouds but we have probably about seven inches or more we ain't even measured it's a bunch more of snow and yeah. it's currently nine degrees at yurt camp nine it's nine it's nine and uh we're looking at the probably one of the coldest nights again in the yurt camper for second year in a row yeah. Let's hear it for that. Second year in a row for the polar vortex. Woohoo! Yeah, and that is the yurt forecast. For the yurt nation, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even clipping. So there you go. Man, y'all. The only good thing that I've noticed is the wind is not nowhere near the, the uh, situation as it was last year. Boomage made the a wind, big uh, difference. Wind makes a big difference. Big difference. So, uh, yeah, well, hats off to that. Thank you for not the gale forced winds. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, there's other people in the country I know they're experiencing and always do every year. Every winter, they have below zero weather wind chills that's yeah. like 40 or 60 below. And it's like, I don't know how y'all do it, but I take, I mean, I salute you yeah. for doing it because, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty winter wonderland outside. About what you see here in this little thing right here, the snow stuck on every limb. Yeah, and, and it's on all of our window, all oh, the yes. snow. Yes, it's oh, yes. Oh, did we figure out if that's a, a, um, a window or a or a sliding door? Did we figure out? What do you mean? I don't know which I one. I think this is windows. Okay. We don't have no knobs. Or we nothing. worked hard. Yes. We worked well, hard that, to put you this just, in. No, you just defeated that when you said, Window. did we figure out if it was sliding doors or windows? Yeah. So that means you didn't know. Thanks a lot. You're <laughs> supposed to know everything. I do know. And here's one breaking thing that I do know that's going to help a tremendous amount of people. It's helping us right now. Guess what? You Guess know, these, what, you guys? The cold weather, you know, and you got your old Arthur, the arthritis. You got your yeah. tendonitis and isms and everything just hurting you and making you feel... Great. You know, yeah, just making you feel great. Like the tin man without the oil, right? Guess what? Tell them, This babies. is what you got to do. Doctors, directions, every four to six hours. We got, we hit a heavy dose of complaining. Yeah. Heavy dose every four to six hours. So maybe start out with every four hours of heavy complaining about your aches and pains. And I'm hurting here and I'm hurting there and that just whatever. And it does work. Yeah, it does. And then what? Then what? If you say about your aches and pains, then what? I just sold them. You keep you complain about them every four to six hours. That is the solution. You don't yes. have to take no medicine. You just complain every you four to complain. six hours. Put in your little, you know, I don't know. And it just loosens up the muscles and the you know yeah. bones you know it just makes things better don't it everything's fine yeah and it really don't make things better but i don't know we might as well complain because i tell you what we are the most complaining people i'm sure not me i don't complain uh, since mankind was Ooh. created i don't know i mean you can't be happy we can't be happy with uh the temperature i mean you know what i mean even inside a vehicle inside a home outside temperatures i mean we're worrying about the temperature you know <laughs> so we are yeah we're always wanting it to be perfect 75 sunny and clear all the time and and get you know next what? to your love and it really does help our love yeah it and it I, does it's a solution as well well yeah oh yeah because you have to love somebody but down south you know you go way down in the south you know like the florida keys and stuff like that I mean, I don't know what the temperature is down there, but I bet it ain't 75 and sunny. It probably, I don't know. I guess, that did they experience this? I don't know. I wonder if anybody's in the comment section that lives or knows anybody in the Florida Keys, 
Yeah. Boom, it's, let us know what the temp is for y'all. And Cal, I wonder if California, they're not getting it, are they? I don't know. I don't think so. See, they get a whole different system situation out there on uh, west of the Rockies. You know, all that stuff pops up on the west of the Rockies and goes across the Rockies. And then over here, man, it's a completely different situation because we got all that polar vortexes. If y'all seen it, and you may not have. If you missed the live, you missed the map. Let me get this right quick. Yep, I got to get it. Here you go, you guys. Here was the map of what's going on right now today for majority of the country, okay? Yeah. We ain't going to talk about, you know, the Rocky Mountains and West because, like I just said, they get a whole different situation. Yeah. But check, check this out. Yeah. Booming. Tell them about it. There you go. Polar Vortex coming through Canada. They just left the, they left the gates open. They didn't even put a wall up to stop it. Yeah. And they just come on down in here. Here, of course, is Yurt Nation. We're frigid at nine, uh, nine, nine degrees, okay? And I know uh, people out here in Oklahoma and then up here in Nebraska and Iowa and all that, yeah, you guys are below zero. Yeah. We so don't stay like that. snuggled up. We don't like this over here in the southeast, okay? Big SEC, Southeastern Conference. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't do, I didn't really. But anyways, yeah. I didn't really do good in ge uh, geom geography. Geography. And history. And geometry and stuff like yes. that. Yes. So. Well, that doesn't matter. I feel I'm, honored that my man drew this. Yeah, but it's nothing to be proud of. Okay. I was this proud of it. I'm putting not, it in our scrapbook, you guys. This is not an exact. Let me see it. This is not an exact by scale of the United States of America, okay? Whatever. I'm keeping look at it. Florida. I mean, you know, look at where's North Carolina and South Carolina. I mean, it just straight shot up, you know what? up the it, coast. Okay? I didn't do all the little lines and indentions, okay? He drew Sorry. this up in like three seconds. Yeah, I didn't draw all the bays. In the city by the bay. Oh, you know what? I know the oceans. <laughs> I did learn about the ocean. We yes. got Pacific and Atlantic. That's right. You know. And then there's others, but we ain't going to get into that because it might be too much. Yeah, it'd be too <laughs> much right now. Right. But anyways, guys, we're just living it up and having a great time in the polar vortex. Yeah. Of 2024. I feel like I'm on my honeymoon again. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Cabin fever. But you know what? I, I like I like being um, snug, snugged up. And have my man in here with me. And just, we can be cold together. Oh my God. And all the steam and like all that. the love. I just. That makes my palms sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, whatever, guys. This is what it is. And we'll see y'all on the beautiful next one. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're out of here. Yurt. Y'all have a great day. Mm, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a rough night tonight. Negative four is expected. So peace uh -huh. out. Love you guys. Yeah. Stay by. I got nothing for you. <laughs> we don't know. Okay, you guys. You. <laughs> I would ask uh, and beg the whole world to never give up. That's right. Never give up. Okay. Because you're so special and you're so worth. And you, 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 you have a beautiful purpose. Mm, yes. So hug yourself from us. Right. And we'll see you on That's right. the next one. We will. Love okay. you guys. Mm, yeah. <sighs> That's right. Did they